Fiji, Australia, New Zealand. Hi, I'm Jessica Elliott, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Vanuatu, and I'm out traveling trying to be the first woman to Papua New Guinea, Timor Leste, Indonesia, and to visit every country in the world. Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. I'm not the story of I hated my job and I quit. It's I loved my job, I loved Denver. Um, I just wanted to do something different. Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, which isn't technically a country, but I wanted to be there for Chinese New Year. I decided to do the Strategic Innovation and Change Program here at DU, at University College, which allowed me to do about half the program on online and about half the program on campus. So I finished my program here in spring of 2014. And that year I happened to hit a milestone with work where I was gonna be accruing another week of vacation a year and I had like four weeks in the bank and I'm like, I've got to do something. I'm not going to be that person that's writing off vacation. Like that will not be me. It took three and a half weeks in South America and I felt really good about myself. Like real, like three and a half weeks, that's a big deal, like in a row. Uh, and then when I got to South America, every single person I met was like minimum six months, six months, 12 months, 18 months, indefinite. And I was like, oh, like, that's long-term travel. Brunei, Singapore, Solomon Islands. There's no woman on record that's visited every country, so that's why I say first, but when it comes to speed, Guinness doesn't record firsts because they're inherently unbreakable. Once somebody's the first at something, nobody else can ever be the first again. Um, so in order to go after a world record, I have to go for fastest. Marshall Islands and Micronesia went back to Fiji, so Guinness counts feet on the ground which does mean airport visits. But I don't, and I don't know any other traveler who counts countries who would count airport visits, Laos. Uh, where did I go from there? For me, the, the way I simply define it is having, what you could, what, having an experience worth telling a story about. Technically, right now is the first time I visited the United States. I think for me, momentum is really important, and that's why this way is important for me. This kind of trying to average a week per country and trying to keep it moving and keep it moving at a pace that some people wouldn't really necessarily enjoy. I'm gonna try and hit um, Afghanistan and Pakistan in the like early spring because I wanna go snowboarding there. For me, that's the momentum piece of it's very important. It's very easy to get to a place and be like, oh my gosh, I love this place, I could stay here. I'm just gonna stay another week. That week turns into two, turns into a month. All of a sudden, you've lived in Vietnam for 20 years. Technically, Turkmenistan, because I was physically in that. Didn't get a visa stamp because I got deported right away. I have been to 54 of the 198. I realized I don't want to wake up in 10 years and regret not taking the opportunity or not taking the risks or not taking the chances when I could.